Hello there, my name is Christian Rivera and this is my humidifier <laughs> blowing smoke behind me. Uh, I did that on purpose, so it just looks really good on the camera, right? Um, my name is Christian Rivera. I am an executive producer and media attention specialist and welcome to Open Source Thinking. This is version one of this welcome video. I just want to say hello and introduce myself and give you a sense of what this channel is going to be about. I think this channel is essentially you know, allowing for me to share solutions of practical problems that I have come across in particularly tech, but tech related to media, sometimes life things that I've kind of solved, uh, but mostly little things in maybe like Adobe Premiere and Photoshop and uh, different little tools with AI and stuff like that, that help with the sort of business development and uh, creation process but also some big picture ideas and elements too, because I, I consult with Personality Hacker. I work with them as their executive producer. I help them with content to create, um, to create podcasts and videos and course content and stuff like that that actually speaks to who they're intending to speak to and to make money in the process of doing it, right? So my focus is in the knowledge economy which is, you know, Teachable, Kajabi, uh, people who have their own course material on their own proprietary websites and stuff like that, who are teaching things like, uh, you know, Ego, Persona, Shadow Self, the Enneagram, Myers-Briggs, Personal Growth, uh, you know, Yoga, uh, Spiritual Concepts, all sorts of other stuff that uh, have expertise and maybe have had expertise for a long time, have had great products, have great knowledge and wisdom to offer, but perhaps have some struggles in media amplification and focus. And that's really where I come in. Uh, you know, I'm smack dab in the elder millennial space of, uh, of 37 years old as of this recording. And, uh, you know, bridging this gap between analog old world and the modern media of today. And the challenge that a lot of people face with modern media is like, do I just have to like create all the time? And yeah, but also no, because what I do with personality hackers is that they have a long form podcast and then we chop it up to as many pieces as possible. So they themselves record an hour of a podcast and then we get a lot of quote graphics. We get a lot of um, social media content out of it, like reels and stories and stuff like that to amplify their attention. But it's not just like using AI tools to like cut all those things. I personally cut those things. And I'm not offering that I would do that for you, but I can share some of those principles and share like what goes into that. And a lot of what goes into that is I use personality systems and levels of development systems. So I personally use Myers-Briggs, the Enneagram, Spiral Dynamics, Integral Theory, the Stages Model, Generational Theory as well is in this. And I'm also very attuned to, you know, the big picture of what's happening in, in sort of the economy and the world uh, and, and, you know, uh, social happenings and stuff like that. And I think the, one of the biggest challenges that we have is that attention is currency to these days, but like focus is gold and focus is really hard. It's like focus through the noise to create a signal, right? And what you're trying to ultimately do is create a signal. And I want to support the creation of your signal to create, to, to reach the right people that you're trying to reach. Right. And that can mean developmentally, that can mean personality wise, that can mean, you know, any number of, of, of things. Right. So some of it's going to be big picture like that. And then some of it's going to be practical to help you as a business owner to be able to, you know, if you have to do some of these things yourself, because you can't afford to pay someone, you know, how to, how to make some of those things easier. And, you know, address some of the tools like AI and stuff like that as we go along to figure out what's actually useful and what's going to actually be more difficult than it needs to be. You know, me personally, I have to consider that I have dyslexia and a lot of AI tools for video rely on, um, you know, text based, like like a voice to text sort of stuff and then editing via text. That doesn't help me. <laughs> and I'm sure there's situations and stipulations where like those things don't help you or it's too complicated or unreliable or you don't trust it. Or like sometimes it feels like working with an intern and you don't want to work with an intern. You want to work with somebody who knows what they're doing. Right. <laughs> so that's some of the challenge of navigating, you know, emerging technology. And I've always considered myself to be sort of a stock car of technology. I like to go ahead. I like to experiment and see what's actually helpful. 
But uh, that's the thing. For me, it's like, what is actually useful? What is helpful? What's going to get you to what you're trying to accomplish? And I think for you as a business owner, at least the person that I'm trying to personally reach is someone who is with the intention of doing something interesting in the world, uh, trying to find your passion, purpose, and mission, not finding it, you're on it, right? Um, and I need to differentiate that for myself because I've worked with people who are trying to figure it out and I'm, I'm not in that territory um, where you're starting with a blank slate and trying to figure it out. Uh, I want to work with somebody who is like, you've had an expertise and a specialty for a while and you just want to amplify. You need more clients or you need to get more attention specifically to your courses or programs or stuff like that or your book or your podcast or whatever it is that you're producing that you know pays the bills for yourself and you know potentially allows you to hire more people and and scale in the ways that make sense for you not just scaling generally because you're supposed to and it looks cool and it's like a status signaling thing but what is actually in alignment with you as a person and figuring out your your trajectory and your purpose, right? I, I think that's important. And so, uh, you know, that reflects who I want to work with personally and who I've had, you know, personally some failings with in the past is, is, is being hired on to start with somebody who has nothing to work with, right? Uh, it's ultimately like your responsibility to produce content, to create something interesting, to create something of quality and of value, you know? And that's another thing with attention is there's a lot of cheap tactics out there related to what you should be doing on YouTube. For example, like, you know, editing out all of the silences or, you know, throwing on animations or you got to like move your hands a lot. You got to keep people interested. Everyone's got a short attention span. Nobody is going to pay attention to you. And it's like nobody pays attention because what someone's offering is not interesting. And we're leaning too much on tools and tactics instead of being engaging, to be interesting, to actually know what you're talking about, to smile, you know, to connect, you know, and, and technology is important. I'm using a MacBook Pro, the microphone's good enough, you know, and, and good enough is, is an important aspect too. Like we can get very much stuck on perfectionism. I've met plenty of people who are like, I can't put out an Instagram photo until it's perfect. And it's like, you do one every two weeks and it's like, that's not, that's not going to move the needle doing something once every two weeks. So there is consistency of, of, of uh, quantity, of course, but quality is going to be pretty important as well. Quality of the material and what's going to attract someone, right? I, I think I've heard, I heard someone say that like, if Star Wars put out a seven hour movie, people would watch it, right? Because they're fans of it. And ultimately what you're trying to attract is someone that is going to be a fan of your work that needs your help, that is feeling like what you have to offer is incredibly valuable, right? And you're continuing to calibrate that. And that's what I bring and hope to offer is uh, continuing to calibrate the quality of not only what you're offering and what you're communicating in terms of your content, but the quality of people that are coming into your ecosystem so that you can actually uh, do your best work and not have to like over explain yourself like people come into your ecosystem because they get it right they, they get what you're offering they get what they need and oftentimes you're you're able to communicate your problem to them more easily than they can communicate it to themselves right so there are these things that i that, that there are these like kind of business principles that i'm hoping you already understand and you're already building and perhaps you already have a community but you just need some refinement you need some help with your media presence. You need some help with your content refinement and uh, just someone to, to bounce some ideas off of and, and work with and stuff like that. And hopefully through the course of creating content here on this channel, Open Source Thinking, you'll see some of what I can do, what I can offer and all of that stuff. But this video is really a prompt for you to ask questions. As of hearing me talk about all of this, does it spark something for you. What are some of the challenges you're dealing with? What do you need help with? And even if I can't personally help you, perhaps I can point you in a direction of, of someone or something that can give you some support. So I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below, like, and, uh, you know, subscribe to see what's coming or, or come back some other time, uh, or, or perhaps this is it and I'll never see you again, or you'll never see me again. Rather, <laughs> I won't see you at all. I'm not watching you, watching me, watching you watching me. 
watching you, sweet Caroline. Um, <laughs> uh, if your name is Caroline, that's a little bit of a creepy thing. I was just quoting sweet Caroline uh, with the whole watching me, watching you thing. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I appreciate you. Thank you for checking this out and uh, leave a comment below with your question or your story. I'd love to know a little bit about what got you here, where you're trying to go and uh, how I can pot potentially help you out. So yeah. Okay. My name is Christian Rivera and uh, I'll talk to you later. See ya.